Hello. In this video, <laughs> we're gonna share some of our horrifying experiences. Yeah, this is kind of inspired because my horrifying experience that you're about to hear about happened a few nights ago. <laughs> go so I'm gonna go first. When I was camping, this was like quite a few years back. If you've ever been camping, you know that sometimes they're talking about bears and there's gonna be, there might be some bears in the park, but like, don't worry, park rangers like have it all covered. But just watch out just in case, you know. So <laughs> I always go with my family friends. We're all playing cards one night. I think it was about midnight and we're just in this screen tent and just a lamp. We're talking about like, ooh guys, there's, there's a bear in the park. Mm. Like, <laughs> you gotta be careful. Right after we say that, we hear a rustling in the bushes. <laughs> and we all look at each other and we're like, oh my God. <laughs> and then one of my friends looks over and she goes, <gasps> My heart sunk and I was like, this is how I die. <laughs> and she's like, it's a mouse. <laughs> I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like I thought I was gonna get murdered. So a few nights ago, I was up at like 2 a.m. Sorry, mom and dad that are watching this. <laughs> and so I'm getting ready to go to bed. Actually, it was not even 2 a.m. It was like midnight. Don't worry, guys. So it was like midnight. I'm about to go to bed because I gotta get my like sleeping schedule on point because school is starting. <laughs> I go over to my bed and I look at my pillow. I see something and I'm like, oh, that's nothing. And then it runs away and I'm like, no! It was this fucking huge spider. It was the biggest spider I've ever seen. It ran away so I couldn't see it anymore. There's this sort of like space behind my bed where it can like run away so I don't know where it went. I can't go to sleep now. Like, it's gonna come back on my pillow and go into my ear and lay eggs or something. At this point, I'm like, what do I even do? Like, do I go to bed and just like pray? <laughs> I just sat on my bed like cross-legged, like I was just sitting there like contemplating life. <laughs> and then I see it again, it's just chilling there so I can see it and everything. I run out of the room, I grab the first shoe I can find, I came back, I killed it, I like, it was like a mixture of like squish and crunch. All of its like <laughs> so spider guts came out and it was like... <laughs> also when I killed it, all of its legs like came off. Uh. So it was just, just like a squished body with like orange guts and like legs. I got a ton of toilet paper to clean it up and I dropped it I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and so I went back to the bathroom and I got a ton more toilet paper to pick up the toilet paper that had the thing because I don't know if it like fell out when I dropped it or something. I'm not taking that chance. I'm oh sorry. Still to this day, there's a couple of spider legs in my bedroom. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. And after that, I went and took a shower because I need to cleanse my soul. If you guys don't believe James, he has a whole bunch of tweets. I live tweeted at 12 a.m. You should show some of them at the top <laughs> while you're talking. Yeah, I will. Right here, right now. <laughs> There you go. Now we've got one more story. It's kind of one that we share. Yeah, exactly. So basically, one of our friends invited us to like this birthday thing, at, like a, a park yeah. in, in Manitoba where we live. It's this game called Predator vs. Prey. There are a whole bunch of people who are playing the game. Some people are carnivores. Um, it's basically just like Hunger Games, but a little yeah. bit more like complicated. Yeah, exactly. We were both her herbivores, right? Yeah, we were like So everyone's just trying we to kill low. us. We just had to hide just, away the whole time. Running away from everyone else. Like, I'm not a fast runner. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> we're in the woods, okay? And I was like, okay, the only way that we're gonna get away from everyone else is if we go in like the, the swamp. It was Disgusting. all water. Water and reeds, that's all it was. Yeah. Everyone else is in like this clearing and like, oh, I tagged you, I got you. And James and I are like hiding in this like marsh of reeds, okay? Yeah. But then we got lost. Yeah, we did not know which way to even go. We it's could, a fence we off. Kind of, we kind of knew like which direction. Like we were like, okay, we kind of need to go in this direction. But yeah. we were actually like, scared that we wouldn't make it out. So it's just like a fenced off area, like you can't just go on forever. So we're like, okay, well we gotta get out eventually. But like, I thought we were like stuck in there, like cause wherever I turned, it was just more reeds, more reeds. And then I was walking ahead of James. Yeah, she was walking. <laughs> and then I see a goose, like standing like five feet in front of me. Or if you live somewhere that doesn't have Canada geese, you don't understand how actually terrifying they're they actually are. Okay. They literally, they come at you and they're like, nah! <laughs> this goose was like, laying eggs or so or she was sitting <laughs> on her eggs or something i made eye contact with like this goose and it just like <laughs> i was so scared and i was like james <laughs> did you see it no i never saw it you were behind me yeah oh, from my, my perspective samara just was like 
<laughs> like, yo, we have to go. Yeah, I was like, I literally thought there was like a wolf or something by her reaction. Fun birthday party, Savannah. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, now we know that we would survive in the wild at least. So that's all we got for yeah, now. A little bit of, um, that was a little uh, look into our lives and how awkward we are. And we'll put up another video next Sunday. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>